We're back. It's been a while. Um, real quickly, uh, I guess not real quickly. I don't know why I keep saying that. That's like a atypical vlog thing to say, right? Uh, so what I'm doing right now is I'm cooking. You're cooking with Tucson. That's what you're doing right now. And to really quick get you into why I'm doing this, it's mostly because uh, I was finding myself, my energy would just, just, you didn't see that, like that. It wouldn't even have like an up, it would just go, it would just go downwards. So I started trying to eat better. And the hard part is defining the better or finding what the better is for you. And for me, part of that was on meat. So I've cut a lot of meat out of my diet. Uh, part of it was on a lot of alcohol. And then another part was on processed foods. The, the, the latter one, processed foods, is most definitely the most obvious because it just, you eat bread and pasta and like, good God, like your energy just, just dips. I mean, alcohol is an obvious one as well, but the meat one was kind of tricky because I was like, man, I just love, I love steak. I love chicken. I love burgers. Oh my God. I love, a, I love a good burger. Love it. Love it. And had to cut all that out. And so I started replacing it with other foods like Beyond Burger. No, I didn't have, I had a Beyond Burger on set on a movie, which Thank you to David Buchanan for getting that. Or wait, that was um, Allison Gasu. She got the Beyond Burger, so thank her for that. But I've been doing alternatives to meat that have been working out fantastic, and then you feel full, and you also feel like you can just keep going. So right now, what I'm cooking with is, what I decided to do is there's this bowl that I used to get from a, a joint uh, near my house. And I would go get this bowl. It was a quinoa and rice bowl. And it had tofu, avocado, and I don't know why I'm walking around my kitchen like this. Tofu, avocado, chickpeas, and I think there was something else in it, but I forget. But it was really good. It was really, really good. And it, it just was a little bit heavy for me. So I decided to get like the most light foods that I could find. And that was basically quinoa, vegetables and avocados and then what I also paired it up with was I, I guess really nothing else I just got <laughs> vegetables avocado and quinoa that's like literally all like oh beans beans I got beans yeah I can't forget about that beans and green beans and as a kid growing up in New Orleans I hated green beans hated green beans I hated them so much um the ones that I would always pick out because my dad was a big like rice and veggies dude. Rice and veggies and meat, we'd have like ground meat. But uh, I would pick the lima beans out. And then later on I was like, I gotta get these green beans out of here. And my mom was like, pause homie. You're not taking out all the greens. There's no way that's happening. So I got green beans, black beans. Uh, quinoa is cooking right now, check it out. We got some here. Yeah, we got some here. This is steaming. Haven't really checked the timer on this. We'll see how that goes. Here we got our peppers. Now I'm gonna cut these up. I'm gonna put them in there. And I'm also gonna cut these guys up. They might be, these guys might be a little bit old. They're a little wrinkly. Then also right here, this is the key. This is the smoothie. Uh, why is autofocus? There it goes. This is the smoothie that I've been having on the daily. Um, a big reason why I'm making this move right now is because I've been on the road. Been touring, uh, doing, emceeing and stand up and uh, that's been my month of October. There's a whole another story about that which I'll vlog about. But when you're on the road, it's tough to eat healthy. And anybody that's on the road will tell you that it's just less accessible, you have less control over it. It's possible, but it's, it's, you have to be a lot more mindful about it um, and prepare like for it, like big, big time. Like, okay, I'm going to Denver. Where can I go in Denver that's gonna have a meal that's gonna fill me? that before the show I won't feel like lag or I can have it after the show and I'll feel great. So when on the road, those are the things that you gotta worry about. But here, what I've done is I'm setting up uh, prepared meals. And again, just to recap, we're gonna go with peppers. It's different color ones. Uh, if anybody knows the difference between orange, yellow, red, and green, 
feel free to write that in the comment section. I would love to hear what the difference is, or I can look it up on my own. Then we got quinoa, as I already said, bang, bang. And then we got black beans, shabloins. Is that gonna, is that gonna, yeah, there it goes, there we go. Black beans, and then we got some green beans as well. So that's all in the mix. Uh, and the final thing, the final ingredient that I've added to all of this is I went to Target and I bought Pyrex for the first time. Ooh, girl, check it out. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Squad. Uh, so we're gonna be cooking. I'm gonna let you know how all of this goes on future vlogs, but this is the beginning of cooking for myself, which I haven't done really a lot of, eating well and venturing out to see what works for me. So in future vlogs, I'll let you know what's been working for me and what hasn't been working for me. And, and we'll see how that goes down the line. This also pairs up in the process of being an artist uh, because I'm, I'm currently uh, trying to preserve my energy, thin down for a role that I'll play at the end of November. Right now it's like November 4th right now. So these next two weeks, just bang it out and really get prepared for the next, the next month because the end of this month is gonna be gangbusters and then December is gonna be crazy uh, with a spoken word show and a, a live show with The Blend. And I wanna make sure that my mind, and my body, uh, my diet is as right as possible. So with all that being said, eating, like what I put in my body is very important right now. And so with that said, that's part of my process. And yeah, that's basically it. I don't know what else to say about it except I showed you everything. So with that said, uh, please subscribe to this channel below. Uh, if you have any questions or any corrections you want to make, because everybody's got, got a lot of corrections, write in the comments below. And also, don't forget to check out my music on Spotify, Toussaint Morrison on Spotify. If you don't know how to spell that, then what are you doing here? Why don't you know how to spell my name? And then also, go to youtube.com slash urbanhomecinema. That's where all the films are, and uh, a new project of mine is going to drop in a few months there. And if you want to get caught up with all the stuff we've been working on, go to youtube.com slash urbanhomecinema. And lastly, not leastly, go to patreon.com slash Tucson Morrison, and you're going to get all this cool stuff, early release content, recordings of other artists uh, that I'm working on here in my kitchen, in this room. And you'll get that. You'll get early releases of songs that I put out. You'll get early releases of films that I put out. And you'll also get, oh my God, excuse me, this smoothie is, huh? You'll also get Patreon only content that I'll release to Patreon only. And you'll get that there if you're a patron. So there's a lot of cool stuff to get there. So patreon.com slash Tucson Morrison. I'm cooking, bye.